Let's go over specific techniques for using audio in AR experiences. There are a few technical considerations to keep in mind when using audio in Aero. First off, the audio file size must be below 50 megabytes and less than five minutes long. You can play up to 20 audio clips simultaneously in any given scene. The number varies depending upon the device model and the scene complexity. Both WAVs and MP3s are supported, but I tend to use MP3s because the file sizes are a lot smaller. There are two types of audio in Aero. Ambient sounds, which are the same volume throughout the experience, so you would use this for like a soundtrack, for example, and spatial sounds, which are attached to specific objects within the scene and will change volume depending on where the participant is located within the experience. Let's go over specific techniques for using these two types of audio in AR. First off, I want to establish the overall vibe of this garden. So I've got an ambient background track complete with wind and spacey bird sounds. I want this to play as soon as the participant launches the experience. So I'll select an object to attach the sound to, then I'll open up the behavior builder, I'll hit trigger and select start. Next, I'll add a play audio action. I'll scroll down to audio clip and click on the folder icon. This opens up a file tree and I can direct it to the background track that I wanna play. Next, I'm going to select ambient sound. This will play at the same volume throughout the experience. And finally, I'll select infinite. This track is a perfect loop, so it will just seamlessly repeat over and over. Now, I want to use some audio to help direct the participant to the central flower. This is where the main interaction takes place, so I want them to feel instinctively drawn to it. So I'll select the flower, then I will create a new play audio action. I'll click on the folder and direct it to the flowers track. I'll select infinite, but I won't select ambient this time because I want it to be spatially located. It will be attached to the physical location of this flower and will change volume accordingly. When the participant taps on the center flower, it will launch a chain reaction of colorful growth throughout the garden. And I'll use audio to amplify the emotion of this transformation. I'll select the center flower, then I'll add a tap trigger and a play audio action. I'll direct it to the garden song. I'll select ambient and infinite. Now I'll test the experience on a mobile device. This will tell me if my volumes are appropriate, if the positioning is working, and if the audio is performing the storytelling that I intend. And that is how you use audio in Arrow. You can see how layering different types of audio can really flesh out an immersive experience. It makes your world feel more alive, and it helps you communicate effectively with your audience. If you'd like to try out this experience yourself or take a deeper dive into the project file, I've included it below.